A Syrian refugee who came to Australia just four years ago with limited English has been recognised as one of the highest achieving Year 12 students in the Northern Territory. Matil Haddad has earned an ATAR of 98.4 and she plans to study medicine after seeing the impact doctors had on her home country. To tell us more, Matil joins us from Alice Springs. Good afternoon, welcome to the program. Good afternoon. <laughs> Congratulations. That's an incredible Thank effort. you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, tell me about your journey, about coming to Australia as a refugee. Let's start there. Um, so I arrived in Australia um, in 2017, December, actually. Like a few days ago, we had marked the four years. And, um, and then we arrived directly to Alice Springs, and I had very limited English. My parents knew no close to no English and um it was it was a very hard transition but you know we made it and obviously coming from a war-torn country it's quite different but you know I'm, I'm very grateful to be here yeah well you, you, as you mentioned you came from a war-torn country to a very tight-knit community in the middle of Australia they couldn't be further apart could they um they are so different but Again, I couldn't be more grateful coming into smaller community. I feel like the, although the transition was less, like it wasn't as easy as coming into big city because those things are less accessible, but it was an easier transition because the community was smaller and Alice Springs has just a very welcoming community and it has many migrants in it that just makes this transition much easier. And the resources are just available readily if you are migrating here and they're just ready for you. Mm. After arriving with limited English and then going on to be one of the top students in the Northern Territory, how did you do that? How did you so rapidly develop your, your English skills to be able to, well, blitz the studies? I didn't de develop it any rapidly, to be honest with you. Um, it really took some time and effort. And I had very good science and math background that I was able to use to push me through. But mainly, um, I really struggled with English. I didn't pass my first semester in year nine in English. I actually failed it. And I just kept on, like, I was on then Bs for, like, a few years until I got an A. That was my first A this year. And, you know, it, was, it wasn't easy. But I got there and it was mainly through the efforts of honestly my school. They were just incredibly helpful and they never hesitated to give me a hand in anything that I needed. And they were very welcoming and they just allowed me to rely on whatever technology that I needed and whatever assistance that I needed, just get through and keep going. Mm. And you've mentioned that medicine is a career path that you'd like to follow. Why is that? Well, when you come from a place like my own, when, you know, it's, 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 you always feel like you're just a touch away from death and you just realise how important doctors are, how they just change lives of people around them and how much, how impactful they are. And I want to make such a difference. I want to um, make a difference on people's lives, whether I know them or not. And just, I feel like medicine is just a great way to touch at people's heart like that. I reckon you're already making quite a big difference on people's lives by being the trailblazer that you are. That you finished your last two years in what have arguably been uh, the most tumultuous times in global, or recent global history. How has that been while battling a COVID-19 pandemic with regular lockdowns? Um, in Alice Springs, we haven't had we weren't that impacted by COVID-19. We were actually very lucky to be here and still be able to go to school and um, do the things that we were, you know, that we needed and still be able to meet with our teachers. Unfortunately for us, um, on our graduation, we had to wear masks and stuff, but that was like the worst we've ever had. So we were very lucky to be here in Alice Springs and not have to experience COVID-19 as bad as like they would do in the big cities. But it, made ju it just made it harder to go out and I did quite a few programs where I had to go out of um, out of town, but I was unable to go or attend any of the events that I would have loved to. Uh, Matilda, just finally, you and your family have overcome such extraordinary adversity and challenges. What's your message of how other people can deal with challenges they're facing? You have to keep, like, I feel like the strongest thing that I can tell you is just, just keep going because 
it might feel like you're as bad as it could get, but even if it's as bad as it gets, that means it's going to only get better. And just reach out to people. It's it's really hard to do things by yourself. And I was very fortunate to have like a strong circle of family, friends, and teachers that I could rely on. And that's my best advice to anyone is that you don't have to do anything by yourself. Just reach out and there's always somebody who's willing to listen and willing to help. No, just keep going. Words of wisdom there, Matil Haddad. I reckon we're going to be talking to you more in the future. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you.